guys, Gareth here, co-founder of Blam, and this next video we're going to be talking about the essential tools you need when you first get started in business. Or maybe you're an existing business, you're not getting the results that you expect, maybe you've got a clear direction of where your business is going, this video will be beneficial for you too. Now when we first get started in business, the majority of us don't actually put a business plan or forecast in place. We just want to get out there and get sales. We want to get results quickly. So we end up just getting out there, winging it. We're eager, we're enthusiastic. And actually our enthusiasm does get us results in the early days, but because we haven't got a forecast in place, because we haven't got that clear direction, it's not sustainable. And we end up becoming demotivated because we're not getting the results we expect. We end up doing something else and our business ends up failing. So it's imperative that you have a forecast in place for your business. And I, I actually recommend having a three year plan, a three year forecast to see where you're gonna be in three years time. And also you can see within the three year period what your monthly, what your quarterly, what your annual earnings could be. Now once you've completed your forecast, you can then start putting your actual results in, your actual sales on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, annual basis. So this will allow you to compare back to what was forecasted and what your goals and targets were set out to be. Now to make the forecast happen, to make this real life, it all comes down to hard work, graft, and being organized. And the way that I hit my goals and targets is because I follow a cookbook. And a cookbook is your weekly activities that you're doing, day in, day out, hitting those weekly goals and targets. And if you get those weekly goals and targets right, that forecast will happen. So make sure you've got a forecast in place and make sure that you've got a cookbook in place that you're working hard to make it happen. I'll put a link below to a video which explains the cookbook in a bit more depth and I hope that's been very helpful.